Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, it is time for the members only Bolo featured sellers video. I don't even know what to call this. Um, so I feature my members Bolo. So it's kind of like a Bolo live show, only it's not live and it's members of my channel. I feature their bolos and I'm going to tell you they have got some bolos. I've got 25 bolos coming your way. They are bolo finders. I learned so much from this video. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it so much that I did a bonus video that's going to be over on my other channel sourcing with bolo buddies. I figure that they've got them. I'm going to share them and it's good exposure for them and I appreciate them signing up and being members and you know, they're supporting me, they're helping me. So I'm going to give them a bonus video. I'm going to get them more exposure for their YouTube channels, more exposure for their eBay stores. And it's a win-win for everyone. So what is memberships? You guys, if you're not a member, you're welcome to join. There is a fee. Yes. Womp womp. I'm probably going to get some thumbs down. Um, but you know what? I'm working hard and if you want to join, great. If you don't, everything else is going to remain free on the channel. But if you want to join, I appreciate you. And if you don't want to join, I still appreciate you. And I'm going to tell you how it works right now. Um, all right. So I think I've done, this is going to be my third video. So um, members only video. All right. So let me get my screen share up. And so if you go... So this is my first members only video that I did. So if you click on join, it's going to pop up this right here. And there's a video that's going to tell you exactly how it works. Now, it's not going to tell you about the third membership level because I didn't have it when I started it. Um, the third level is $9.99 a month. And basically for that level, you get everything in the first level and everything I talk about in the second level. But the third level, you get an additional perk. And that is basically I share um, either your channel or your eBay store in one of my social media platforms. So it can be in my Facebook group. It can be in, on my Instagram. It can be on my YouTube channel and I do one share a month. Now, I say one share. Will you get more than one share? More than likely, yes. But I am only committing to one because um, that's uh, all I feel comfortable committing to. Um, but I love to share. You guys know that I um, am always trying to support other resellers and YouTubers as much as I can. And I try to share as much as I can, even before I started memberships. Uh, it's just something I enjoy doing. I enjoy helping others. So um, I uh, will try to do more than one share, but I'm only committing to one for memberships, but you'll probably get more than one, probably, but I'm only committing to one. So uh, that's level three. So. Uh, check it out. If you're interested, great. If you're not, no problem. Um, but in this video, I am going to share with you 25 bolos. And what's great about this is everybody watching gets to learn and everybody that's a member gets exposure for their eBay store. And if they have a YouTube channel, their YouTube channel. And I will say that I have several members that are, um, they don't have YouTube channels. They just are sharing their bolos and they want to be in the video and I'm featuring their eBay stores. So links to all of the YouTube channels and all of the eBay stores are down in the description of the video. So be sure to check that out after the video. Okay. Are you guys ready to see some bolos? Thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up, please. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Um, and again, you guys, no pressure to become a member. I'm just sharing with you how it works. Um, and uh, the Bolo live show, I'm hoping to get it back eventually. Um, right now, I am just overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that is on my plate. And um, I just, I can't, I can't do it right now. <laughs> so um, 
I hope to bring it back in the future. So that's where I'm at with the Bolo live show. But um, right now we're gonna we're gonna see some members, uh, some member Bolos. Okay. All right. My phone is bing bonging. That is Instagram. Instagram. Okay. Uh, let's get the screen share up. All right, you guys. The first person, the first member is. All right. Sorry. Okay. Did it pop up? It did. Okay. Philly Flipper. All right, you guys. Remember, show all of these members some love with a sub, okay? They are all working really hard. They're creating reseller content. And I will tell you, I dropped a video today and I realized that I dropped it wrong. Um, I did a shorts, a hashtag shorts, and your camera is supposed to be up and down for those. And I didn't do it right. So it's probably not going to hit the shelf like I wanted it to, but that's okay. Um, so, uh, but anyway, the bolo that I share with you guys, I learned from one of my members. And I will tell you that watching other resellers on YouTube is a great way to learn. So, yeah. And I went to a yard sale and I found that item because of one of my members. Okay, so Philly Flipper, um, storage units. He gets a lot of stuff from storage units and he also does live auctions. So definitely be sure to subscribe to him. He found this item in a, oh no, whew, I thought it wasn't gonna pop up. He found this item in a storage unit and his cost of goods, because he got the storage unit and he divided everything out was only 25 cents for this item. And it's a vintage starter jacket. And you know what? I forgot to get what it actually sold for because it looks like he took a best offer. So I apologize for that. Um, I could look at my phone and see if he actually told me and I made a mistake, but that would take too long and I don't want to make you guys hold. So it was originally $130, but he took a best offer. So maybe he can put that down in the comments and you guys can look for that. Um, but he did do free shipping on this and vintage starter jackets are definitely a bolo item. So definitely be on the lookout for those. Here's what the inside tag looks like. So definitely bolo for those. All right. The next member is a little bluebird and she is new to YouTube, but she is putting out some content. Her videos are very short right now, but they have are packed with some information and uh, she does sell on Mercari and eBay. And she picked up this Vitamix blender. And you guys, it is a replacement container. And she got it at a yard sale for two bucks and sold it for $80.10. And the buyer paid the shipping. So replacement parts for these items can definitely be a bolo. So definitely a very, very cool item. Okay, the next item comes from um, someone who is not a YouTuber. So I do not have their um, item pulled up, but they will be linked down in the description, their eBay store. So you can look down there. Um, let me see here. Um, I'll show you their store in just a second. But it is a Michael Kors backpack. They were at a hotel and this was on top of the trash can. Yes, somebody was throwing it away. Can you believe it? Why would somebody throw this away? I mean, it's a nice backpack, right? Sold for $38 with 18 bids and the buyer paid shipping. It's got a little defect there, but no big deal, right? 38 bucks. And here is the store Nish K I Quay K I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm probably saying it wrong, but there you have it. And again, the link will be down in the description. Lots of vintage clothing, very cool store. So definitely give it a view. The next item, oh, I forgot to update the store or the eBay, not the eBay, the YouTube channel. They just changed it. It's all goods. Um, 
And here is the Bolo item. And this is super cool. And the eBay store is It's All Goods 94. And I said, you need to change your YouTube channel to match your store. Um, because she was doing a, um, a product uh, demonstration. So if she puts this in her um, uh, eBay listing, she'll want the store to, to match. I'm one to talk. My uh, eBay and my uh, eBay store name does not match my YouTube channel. I don't, mine are not matchy matchy. But anyway, I'm giving out advice that I don't use. Okay, so anyway, how cool is this plush? It's Kinder Goth's Voodoo Plush. Have you guys ever seen such a thing? I mean, I'm going to say that I probably would have picked up this plush just because I have never, ever seen a plush like it. And I could see the appeal. I could see somebody would want this item. And I just sold something. Ah. Let me see. I feel like I just listed that. Oh, no, I didn't. I lied. I just listed something that was that brand. Okay. So anyway, this, um, what is this? This plush. It uh, came from the Goodwill for 50 cents and she took a best offer of $69.99. So those are great margins. 50 cents into almost 70 bucks. All right, Danielle from Yard Sales and Dreams, who is definitely a bolo finder. Now, this is not a huge bolo, but you guys are going to see why I picked it. It is a pencil sharpener, you guys. It's from the 1950s, and she sold it for $35. Yes, how cool is that? So sometimes in these videos, I'm going to pick things like this that are just a little bit different that you're gonna think, oh my goodness, that pencil sharpener sold for $35. Are you kidding me? Yes, she got it at a church sale for 50 cents, 35 bucks for this little elephant pencil sharpener. Awesome, right? All right, we got Chosen Goods Reseller and she found this little cat scrap metal art nuts and bolts kitten sculpture. It's a uh, hin or Heinz and Kunst, Kunst, Kunst. I don't know how to say it. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, it's nuts and bolts. And I like how she put it on this little ruler. Super cute. Sold for $38.36. How cool is that? And the buyer paid shipping. I think it's pretty cool. I can't say that I would have saw that and have known that it would have sold for that much money. So definitely a bolo. And she got it at a moving sale for 75 cents. I'm trying to see where the marking is, how she knew the brand. I'm not seeing it. Maybe she just Google imaged it. All right. The next reseller member is Toledo Antique. And Toledo Antique, they do estate sales um, for a living, like um, in their town locally. But they also do live sales on their YouTube channel. So definitely check them out. Um, they know their antiques and their vintage. So if you want to learn, definitely follow them. They got this item for $50 and they sold it for $900 and they shipped it. Oh, that looks like a nightmare. Oh my gosh. You guys, that would take me like six hours to ship. Oh, maybe 10. There's no way. I just wouldn't do it. There's just, look at that, that teapot thing. Oh my gosh. That just gives me nightmares. What would you guys do? Would you ship it? Or would, or would you just be like, forget it? 59 pieces, you guys. No way. That's not worth $900. All right. Maybe it is, but no way. <laughs> no way. Local pickup only. 
What do you guys think? Would you do it? Would you ship it? Or would you pass? Oh, 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 oh. okay. Sorry, you guys. I hate breakables. So I just look at that and it's just like, no way. All right. Butterfly hustles. All right. She uh, sold this Helen Kaminsky hat. Okay, so I released a video today and it was a shorts. So I thought, uh, I told you guys about this at the beginning. <coughs> and this is actually the video or the item I was talking about. So I learned about these straw hats from her and I went to a garage sale and I found, it was actually a yard sale. I found five straw hats. Three of them were this Helen Kaminsky brand. So because of Butterfly Hustles, I found five straw hats. Was it five or six? One, two, it might've been six. So about $300 worth of stuff because of Butterfly Hustles that I got at this garage sale for about 15 bucks. So yeah, definitely, definitely. Thank you, Butterfly Hustles. So awesome. She got this hat at Village Value Village, which is a thrift store for $2.50, and she sold it for $92.50. So go give her a sub because she made me over $200. Whoop, whoop. I still got, everything's got to sell, but I have a bid on one item for 50. Somebody made it, me an offer on one of the items for 50 and I turned it down. So I'm hoping to get 75 to 100 on that hat that they made me an offer for 50 on. So we shall see. Mindful recycle. Okay, are you guys ready for this one? She has some cool bolos, but I really, really love this item that she sold. Um, she sold, these are beautiful. They are these Danbury Mint Walt Disney's Cinderella porcelain candlesticks. How cute are these? Aren't they cool? And look at the flowers. They're still intact. Beautiful, beautiful. So her um, Mindful Recycle, her channel, and her store, her eBay store are the same. See, I never intended to have a YouTube channel, so I wasn't thinking ahead. So my eBay store does not match. I guess I could change my eBay store to be Bolo Buddies. So I could make my store visit store. I could make my store Bolo Buddies and then leave my account. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. Anyhow. Um, so what did she, she got this for $5 at an estate sale and sold it for $199. You guys, how amazing is that? That is, I can't believe the estate sale had that for five bucks. Wow. I want to go to that estate sale. That was a deal. Look how cute the back is with the little, um, mice on the pumpkin. So cute. Okay. We have thrifty nurse. And she is newer to YouTube. And wait until you see this. Rare Victoria's Secret Pink Comforter. You guys, how cool is this? Some of that old Victoria's Secret retired stuff can be big money. She got this at a thrift store for $3. And she took a best offer of 100 bucks for that, you guys. It's a twin auctions for you. And I said in the other video, uh, the bonus video I did, um, I have a mystery box that I need to open still that I got from T just have not had time. I don't know when I'm going to get to it. It is sitting and waiting patiently for me. Um, so this one is really cool. And she got this from a collector and it was a bulk buy. So her cost of goods was about $2.50 for this. And it's a signed framed photo of Walter Matt, Matte and George 
Burns with a certificate of authenticity. And there it is. And this sold for $125. Pretty cool, right? So T does a lot of bulk buys and T also does auctions on her auctions for you channel. So make sure you are definitely subbed. All right, this is really cool. And I talked about this on the other video. Uh, Melissa, AKA Vandy's Closet picked up this amazing dress and it had a stain on it. And she felt confident that she could get this stain out and she did. And she sold this dress for $175. She did pay $30 for it. It's a Kate Spade dress, $175. I will tell you, I always get so nervous selling clothing on um, eBay because of returns. But um, she sold it for $175 on eBay. Got it at the Goodwill for $30. It had a stain. And as far as I know, everything went well. So does it say when it sold? Oh, she's got free 60 day returns. Girl, why do you have 60 day returns? You are brave. Um, I like how she does this picture with the measurements. That's pretty cool. 60 day returns. I only do 30 day returns. So she is brave. Um, what do you guys do? 60 or 30? Or... Is that the only choices? I don't know. I do 30. All right. Be carried away. Let's see. She is a bolo finder for sure. She sold. Oh my gosh, you guys. She sold this dress for her jumper. It's a romper for $350 on Poshmark. $350. Are you guys ready for this? She got it for $6.99 at the Salvation Army. Now, on Poshmark, you can use stock photos. But this is her photo. And then she's got this, which is, I think, from the manufacturer. There's the detail on the back. $6.99, you guys, at the Salvation Army. Can you believe it? $350. Wow. But it looks like the designer piece is $1,500. It's selling for $859 pre-owned. Now, I will tell you that she does a lot of research. Um, you will tell if you watch her videos, she does um, extensive research on her items. Um, she's very, very detailed, which is great. Um, I am not. <laughs> I'm like, you get the title and see uh, photos for description <laughs> uh, or for measurements and condition. That's pretty much what you get from me. She's detailed. Sh my husband is very detailed. Um, I guess it's just, I've been selling a long time. I'm just not detailed anymore. Um, I don't do a lot of research, but in this case, it really paid off for her to have that detail. So that's awesome. But $350, that's amazing. Um, and I really enjoy her videos because she talks about her research. It's like, I enjoy hearing it, but I just don't have time to do it. Does that make sense? So Okay, the next one from Be Carried Away. Um, and she has an awesome channel, you guys. Definitely check it out. Uh, and I really like this photo. It's like the floating suitcases. Don't they look like they're floating? How did she do that? How did you do that? How did you make the suitcases float? <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so 1960s um, suitcases. Mid-century modern Japan with the keys. She got these for $14.99 at a thrift store and took a best offer of $100 on eBay and the buyer paid shipping. So now I'm going through all of the sellers, uh, the members, uh, and giving you one more of their Bolo items. So I'm just going to say 
who it is. You guys have already seen their channel, so I'm not going to do that again. I'm just going to tell you which member sold it. So that was Be Carried Away. This one comes to you from um, Vandy's Closet, and she said it was the only one listed, and she thinks that she sold it too low. Um, this is a Disney throw blanket. It's Mickey and Minnie Donuts. And she sold it for $35. She got it at the bins. Uh, the buyer did pay shipping and she had about 92 cents in it. And here's your tag. I don't know if that's, is that Disney store? I don't know. Sometimes it's kind of confusing. All right. The next item is amazing. So this was sold by the Thrifty Nurse and it is like a Elsa Disney cosplay Frozen Angel Secret. Okay, so what she said is she went into a thrift store and she said she could just tell that this was like a super high-end um dress. It wasn't like your typical costume. And she said that a girl that dresses up for like birthday parties ended up buying this dress um, to do like, you know, where they go in and sing to the kids and actually act like a princess for um, birthday parties. But she said they typically run for 200 to 400 for like the outfit. So it's like a real fancy, expensive one. But she paid $5 for it at a thrift store. Is that awesome or what? Um, but she sold it for $190 plus shipping on Mercari, you guys. Mercari is an awesome platform. I really, really enjoy Mercari. Um, down in the description of my video, there is like a sign-up bonus going on where I think when you sign up, you get $10 towards a purchase. And then once you sell $100, I think you get another $20 towards a purchase um, if you use the link. Um, I, I think they change it. and But that's the one that's going on at the moment. So if you want to use that, I would appreciate it. And if you don't, no problem. But that's going on right now and my link's down below. Okay. The next one is mindful recycle and these are fruit of the loom vintage teas they are from the 80s and she her cost of goods was about twenty dollars she got them at an estate sale and she sold these for a hundred and thirty six dollars so did you guys know that vintage teas can sell for so much money fruit of the loom you guys fruit of the loom look they originally were five bucks now they're going for a hundred and thirty six Pretty crazy, right? This one was sold by Butterfly Hustles. And I actually pulled this one off of her Instagram and forgot to ask her where she got it. But I'm going to guess it was probably the thrift store. And she did pay $3.50 for it. And it sold for $125.50. It is American Furniture Warehouse Jumbo Stuffed Animal. And I think it's a tiger. She didn't put tiger in the title. Um, that's a tiger. So, um, and it's still sold for $125.50. So pretty cool, right? The next item that sold is this brass ship binnacle, bananical, bananical. I don't know how to say that with compass and oil lamps. It's some sort of ship thing. Anybody have a guess who sold this? <laughs> You got it, Toledo Antique. I told you they sell weird, crazy, unique items because they're really good at vintage and antique items. Um, they know their stuff. Now, like I said, they do pay up for their items. They paid $450 for this, but they sold it for $900. So um, pretty cool item. I have no idea what it is. I have no idea what it does. I would not want to ship it, and neither did they. It was a local pickup item. And um, pretty cool, right? So, yeah. 
The next item is from Chosen Goods Reseller. And the reason I picked this item is because selfishly, I wanted to shout out our Bins 6 Challenge. So uh, Carissa, Chosen Goods Reseller, and Dad Planet, and I did a Bins 6 Challenge. If you want to see that, you can put hashtag Bins 6 in the YouTube search bar, and that will pull up all three videos. Um, we did invite other people to do the challenge if they wanted to. I haven't checked the hashtag to see if anybody else decided to participate. But basically what we did is it was a scavenger hunt and you had to look for six items. I can't remember what the six items were, but one of the items was a clothing item. And this was Chris's item and she actually sold it pretty quickly. And this is a Joss A. Banks uh, blazer and she sold this for $28 best offer. And she had about $1.21 in this item. So um, it did have this tag on it. I wouldn't say it was new with tags, but um, it did have the tag. I don't know if it was ever worn or not, but it was thrown in the bins. So what do you guys do? Because um, it did have the original tag, but it didn't have like the tag with the price on it. So she put it as pre-owned. If you were at the bins, the Goodwill bins outlet with, and you found an item that had the original tags, would you put it on eBay as new with tags if it had a price tag? Or would you mark it as pre-owned with original tags? Let me know in the comments. I would like to know what you guys would say about that. Let me know. All you Ben shoppers that sell clothes. All right. So, and definitely go check out those videos because, uh, yeah, Dad Planet does a little something a little odd at the end of his video. <laughs> All right. The next item is amazing. This is from Yard Sales and Dreams. And this is a uh pervy pervervi Peruvian Peruvian Peruvian. I think I said it right. Connection designer heavy alpaca blend sweater art to wear. I like that keyword, art to wear. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Wow. Look at what it sold for. She got this in a storage buy, had about two bucks in it, and it sold for $297.50 plus shipping. The next item sold by It's All Good 94. That is her eBay store. And she does not have a YouTube channel. She got it at a, a Benz, but she called it a vinyl Benz. So I don't know if she just means like the Goodwill Benz or if there's a vinyl Benz that I don't know about, but she paid 99 cents for it. And it sold on auction for eight with eight bids for $145. Now she did say that this thing was all scratched up and she disclosed it and it still sold for $145. So, um, record has scratches, but still plays well. Actual record is pink in color. So yeah, record has multiple scratches and one gray scuff mark. So you guys, as long as you're honest, I mean, that's all you can do, right? And it's still sold for 145. That's awesome. Great bolo. The next item is this nineties Notre Dame men's spell out sweatshirt. So whenever something is spelled out, that is a awesome thing to put in the title spell out. Um, got this at a thrift store for a dollar 92 and the store is sold for $41 and 98 cents. Nish Quay. I hope I'm saying that right. Please let me know if I'm not. Um, but this is just a vintage sweatshirt, you guys, a nine, from the 90s. Champs. That's the brand, Champs. You guys remember Champs? That's so funny. Cost of goods, $1.92 from a thrift store, free shipping. But I'm going to have to say that I probably would have walked right past this. How about you? Let me know in the comments. I'd like I like to know what you guys say in the comments. You guys are going to like be going down to the comments back and forth, back and forth. All right. The next item 
is a little bluebird and she got these pipes from a bulk buy, had about $10 in this. She sold another lot of pipes and then kept four of them um, as a personal purchase. So I'm, I think she had 20 in all of them, but kept four. So I'm saying $10 cost of goods. So for 10 for this lot, 10 for the other, but if you, and then kept the four for free. How about that? Sound fair? Okay. Um, sold these for $95.99. Pretty cool, right? So pipes are tough. I know that they can be a bolo, but I don't know which ones are worth money, which ones are not. Like, could she have made more selling them individually? No clue. I have no idea. But I, to me, $10 into $95.99 sounds like a win. So yeah, awesome. All right. The next item is Philly Flipper. And he sold this Super Mario 64. Uh, it is just, it looks like the, maybe the main game. And it looks like it's a little bit... Um, dirty like maybe the sticker is dirty from storage storage so it's not in like mint condition or anything like that so you guys don't dismiss things just because they're not perfect it is complete in the box and it is authentic and he got this in a storage unit or no i'm sorry i apologize i lied he got this at a yard sale in a bulk lot had approximately 50 cents in it and he sold it for $82 with free shipping. So if you were at a yard sale and you saw this and you're like, oh, it's a little bit dirty. Would you get it or would you pass? So be careful. Make sure you look things up. And just because it's a little dirty, people will still buy it. Okay. All right, you guys, what do you think? Did you have a favorite? Did you have a favorite bolo? If so, what was it? Put it in the comments. And if you would like to be a part of memberships, that would be awesome. If not, no pressure, no worries. Um, thank you all for being here. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all. Um, if you're interested in perks and there's a join button. Oh, I did it right on the first try. I usually like point everywhere the wrong way. But it's right down here. If you want to join, feel free. And if you don't, no worries. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you at the next video.